Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Amira Hall. I'm here to help raise your vibration and help you create more of what you want in your life. In this video, I'm gonna to speak to you about how emotions and post-traumatic stress energetically affects us and, and how it shapes our life. More importantly, I'm gonna give you some tips when what to do when news triggers post-traumatic stress. It's honestly, it's stuff that we should learn in grade school. The recent news headlines surrounding sexual assault or post-traumatic stress has definitely sparked an inferno within many. I honestly debated whether or not to do this video, but I can relate and I can see a bigger picture of what's happening for us as a collective. So I hope you'll hang in there with me and perhaps it'll even reshape your view on your perceptions and how maybe your emotions have kept you stuck and changed or shaped your reality. Personally, I have long buried memories of a relative sexually abusing me and that all surfaced after another trauma, my father's death, that created eventually a huge chasm between me and my family that lasted for years. And by virtue of that statement, I guess you could say that I'm part of the Me Too movement. But rather than joining any forces or protests or any about anything that's unfair about me or my past, I'm here to share how those stuck energies from the past can actually distort my present reality and give you tips on how to deal with the post-traumatic stress that is being triggered within uh, many sexual assault victims. For me personally, uh, these recent allegations that have flooded our news channels have really been unbearable to watch. And it's shocked me really how really catapulting us into some massive changes. Clairvoyantly speaking, looking at the energies, I can tell you that the broadcast media has an agenda and it's not truly about sexual assault but it's rather a convenient camouflage um, and perhaps some political maneuvering which that is not my expertise. With that said the emotions that are flaring up are definitely screaming to be healed and no question it's affecting millions of people. Collectively, we're being triggered to heal some very deep and buried patterns or energies and emotions. What's been even more painful for me is to watch how people are so divided and incredibly emotional. When I look at these energies clairvoyantly, I can tell you that these emotions are being triggered in others who don't even believe the, the survivors. And I can relate from my own personal experience uh, that others really can't believe these incredulous claims. I get all that. Different. Consider perhaps that maybe different souls have different lessons to learn and they have a different experience and a different process to go through. And when you layer up all this machine gun rapid fire news and social media that's definitely pouring gasoline on an inflaming growing cycle of rage and hopelessness and, and paralyzing anxiety uh, for everybody that's affected. We are being triggered to heal on many, many different levels. And from my own personal experience, I, I've been there where talking and blaming and talking and blaming is, a, is an endless cycle that really doesn't change anything or fix anything. Yes, I've experienced those fight or flight responses uh, that we're witnessing all around us. That definitely emotions are in overdrive um, with all of these claims that have been thrown in our face. Studies actually made of, on female assault victims actually experience post-traumatic stress symptoms for up to weeks after the experience. And, and up to 30% of the females studied had symptoms months later. So what do we do with all of that? You know, what can we do rather than placing blame? And why is it that they flare up all of a sudden unresolved? You know, those symptoms can last for years. They lie dormant for unlimited lengths of time. And then they flare up and they feel like they're fresh and like they just happened yesterday. That is, of course, if you let them. And so why is that? Is it because they go unreported or is it because they weren't resolved? How can we get to a higher level of consciousness to resolve the unresolved? You know, thousands of sexual assault survivors have revealed their traumas to the world recently and they're filled with rage and anger and justifiably, I understand that. But energetically speaking, all we are doing when we, we vent to the world is we're actually energetically throwing up on everybody. Energetically speaking, that's an emotional vomit that's just 
really nasty. And as a sensitive, I can tell you, it just feels horrible. Does that help us awaken? Does that help us evolve? Well, yeah, it may trigger some changes. Perhaps these issues become, you know, front row and center. But I want to make a point here in that you are not Mrs. F and or Mr. K. And the point is that we all have our reasons for not reporting or feeling the pushback when we do report. That's not the point. Times are different now. Uh, conscious awareness is different now. Yes, these are great and powerful times for great change, greater awareness and personal empowerment. Right now we have an opportunity to heal, heal our assault, whatever kind that might be, whether you're a male or a female. It's a powerful time of healing on our planet. Protecting our emotions, our mental being, our physical well-beings are all personal responsibilities. This is an opportunity to release those energetic blocks that have kept us stuck and are crying for release. So what can you do when the news media or social media triggers your post-traumatic stress? Having been on a healing path for over 30 years, I can share my top recommendations. Yes, I had counseling and uh, I didn't really feel like we got anywhere. We seemed to go over and over and over the situation, but I got to an end point where I said, you know what, I want to change it. You know, so how are you feeling right now? Are your feelings being repressed that are bubbling up? Are they in this present moment? Are they a past moment? And if you're resonating with a past experience, it's only because in this moment, you are triggering an emotion that has been stuck from a previous experience. The past doesn't exist. I know that's a lot for some of you to take in right now, especially when you're being triggered emotionally. So let me say it again. The past doesn't exist. It's a stream of thoughts that are history that flows and acts like an archive of information. You had an experience in the past. You relate with that experience, yes? But your physical body is not in the past, it's in the present. Since your energy field, your aura, is a, is a conglomeration, an archive of all your past feelings and experiences, but those feelings don't exist in the present. They're in the past. You're simply having a memory of it that is triggering an emotion. So what do we got to do? We got to let go of those emotional charges that have keeping, are keeping you stuck in a past experience. The only way you can create a new and different future is clearing and resolving the past because otherwise you're dragging those past experiences forward in time. Honestly speaking, the only place we create from is in the present moment. So as you're feeling that emotion, you're simply identifying an emotion from a past experience. And what most of us are doing is just regurgitating and regenerating past emotions that have nothing to do with being present. And they're being triggered and triggered and triggered. Why? It's coming up, oh, I'm powerless, I'm, I'm going to fight back, or I'm unimportant, or I'm disrespected or dishonored, or I feel weak, or I'm unsettled and unfocused and traumatized. Yes. These, these are triggering us. Heal me. Clear me. Release me from the bondage of my past. So if you're still holding on to emotions that you lived in a past moment, you're recreating past emotional feelings in the present time. And you're just generating a cycle that is destructive. This creates dis-ease, dysfunction and eventually death. And I'm sure you can probably witness death of relationships, death of careers, death of, of joy in your life and creating things that you'd really like to experience. You're creating your future with your present time thoughts. So if you're globbed on to past thoughts or emotions, they keep you out of present time. And one way of coming back into present time is using the quantum energy tools that I recommend, that I teach and I employ every single day of my own life, and that have been an integral part in my own self-healing. Now there's a few other things that I'd like to share with you that can really support you when you're being triggered by the news media. So I recommend first and foremost, take a break from the hype, take a break from social media and uh, because it can be overwhelming and keep triggering those, those 
emotions that want to be cleared uh, from your own trauma. And I know as a, as a highly sensitive person myself and empathic, those energies are like a barrage, like a fire hose that are actually amplifying your own angst and certainly not creating a place of peace and harmony. Instead, I recommend that you learn how to set intentional healthy boundaries. And that's something I also teach in my quantum energy tools. The second thing you can do is journal. Write down your feelings. Finding a healthy way to release those emotions is definitely an empowering step to taking care of yourself. Number three, tune into really how you're feeling. Is this your feeling that you're experiencing or is it somebody else's feeling or is it from a past time moment? As things are bubbling up, learn to be able to decipher if it's relevant to you in the here and now. And again, being able to release it with the quantum energy tools. That's a, a powerful, constructive and really a magical tool to employ. Meditate, finding that quiet sacred space within yourself to be able to channel earth and cosmic energies. Using quantum energy tools are clear your energy channels from emotional, physical and mental abuse and they keep you open and vibrant so that you can begin manifesting more of what you do want and, and, and less of a need to hold on to the past to validate who you are, that you're important and, and valuable member of society. Number five, go for walks. Connect with nature. Plug in and let go. Number six, do something nice for yourself. Maybe it's read a book or, or take a bath or take go for a yoga class. Again, learning how to relax and be in the present moment is a powerful way besides being aware of how you're feeling. Number seven, be mindful of not overusing substances. You know, a glass of wine might be part of that self-care, but be mindful that you're not over-consuming. Number eight, recognize that the events in the media are reminders of your own traumatic experience, but you're safe here and now. They are not you. You had your own experience and you have your past and it is time to clear and heal and release it. Number nine, share your experiences with supportive friends who won't be judging you or a partner to be mindful of not energetically vomiting on those other persons or expecting them to fix you or pity you. And number 10, get some professional help. Personally, I've worked through my own garbage and I have supported thousands of women and men actually, um, who are ready to move past those traumatic experiences and live an empowered way of being. If the news cycle is making you feel out of control, isolated or dysfunctional in any way, and you can't function and everything's being triggered up, you find yourself over medicating, it is time to get some professional help. And you can find a link below where I accept um, private uh, sessions. But I want you to know that you can feel and will feel better and safer. And there is a, a drive-through approach to releasing those energetic blocks that where you don't have to relive the trauma. And that's the part that I signed up for because I didn't want to rehash it and over and over. And if you're ready and you're ready to let go of all of that and move on and, and live an empowered, radiant, abundant life, that's what I'm here to do is help you get to that next level for yourself. You don't have to stay stuck in that traumatic trap of uh, feeling pessimistic or hopeless. You can release this trauma and you can live a completely fulfilling life. So many blessings to you. I'll look forward to seeing you on my next video. Don't forget, give this video a thumbs up if you relate to this and kindly share it with anybody, any sister or brother that you know needs a, a, an alternative way of looking at how this is triggering their post-traumatic stress in their life. So to your enlightened journey, I'll see you on my next video.